Hi, I'm Peter. I'm the founder of Guide CX. They say that best products in the world are built off the founder's greatest frustrations. In my previous life, not having a specific software application to help invite, engage, and guide my clients through a complex implementation experience was frustrating to me. Generic project management tools were not cutting it. They did not give my customers the visibility, the transparency in order for them to trust that I was fulfilling the obligations that I promised that I would do during the sales process. And that's why we created Guide CX to arm you with the purpose built application to help you do your job better and make you look like a rock star in front of your customers. One of the things I want to discuss is the 10 reasons implementation managers need a specific tool to help them do their job better. Some people call this a client implementation tool. Some people call it an onboarding tool. But at the end of the day, because the customer expectations are rapidly changing based on our own consumer experiences that we have in our everyday life, those expectations are bleeding into business to, to business. Uh, you know, it's no longer acceptable for you to send a spreadsheet or send an email with a litany of bullet points and a ton of attachments. So in, in, in this short overview, I, I just want to review 10 things that our tool does to make your life easier as an implementation manager. Number one, don't force your customers to log in. Uh, make the process for them to access information on the implementation experience frictionless. It, and that includes not requiring them to log in or give a lot of information on their side in order to see that progress. When you expose progress to your customers and they're kept in the know, you'll find the anxiety levels will go down and trust levels will go up. Uh, number two, global trend and, and logistic analysis. That, that means measure time to value, optimize your process. You're constantly innovating and iterating on your implementation experience such that you can identify where customers most commonly get confused, what specific deliverables and tasks most commonly get completed early, uh, and when you do that and you have a tool that effectively gives you that analysis on an ongoing basis, you'll find that your customer experience will rapidly improve. Your NPS scores will go up and this will enhance all aspects of the customer experience. A customer that is implemented in a seamless, fast fashion is a better customer for all departments downstream. They pay on time. They understand the product or service better so that they're CSM that's guiding them through the whole account life cycle is, is, is uh, armed with a better customer that understands your product and feature set. Number three, customer visibility settings. Identify what your customers should see and should not see during the implementation process. And what this boils down to is make the process simple for them to understand. This might mean that there's a hundred things, hundred checklist items in your plan, but maybe your customer only needs to see 10 to be kept in the know. That's possible with, with Guide CX. Number four, make sure that all emails that are automated throughout the project management solution that you're using are coming from your domain. In Guide CX, this is possible. We whitelist your domain, and that translates to your customers not becoming confused from the emails that are automatically generated. The last thing that you should have to be in charge of is remembering what's next and chasing information. Guide CX does those two things really, really well. It notifies the person next in line automatically from the project manager's email. So it makes you look like a rock star and nothing is slipping through the cracks. And then number two is when people don't accomplish a deliverable or a task in a timely manner, right? You can structure nudges and reminder emails to go out from you that customers can either reply to or they have a direct link into the project experience to communicate with you in context of the deliverable that you're asking them to do. Number five, a white labeled customer portal. Don't, don't confuse your customer with another brand uh, by just adding them to a generic project management tool that, that isn't owned by your business, right? Make sure that you know, your logo is in lights, that, that your color and branding is consistent throughout your whole experience. They just bought your product or service based on them wanting to do business with your company. Uh, the last thing you should do is invite them to another experience that's not branded to your own company. They're bought into you. Put your name in lights. The portal that you have the ability to invite them to in Guide CX can be branded with your color guidelines and, and then your logo. 
Number six, uh, next step email automation. Uh, talk about why reminding people of next steps is the last thing that project managers should have to do, right? This helps reduce your emails that you're sending on an ongoing basis with the numerous projects you're having to manage across a variety of different customers. Uh, you'll find that you'll have 90 plus percent of the emails you'd normally be sending a week be taken away just due to the automation. Number seven, add multiple templates to a single project. Uh, customers have a, a lot of ways to buy products and services. Sometimes they buy them in packages. Sometimes they all a cart buy features from you. The variable nature in which people buy products and services make the implementation experience either, either more complicated or less complex. Uh, with Guide CX, it doesn't have to be that way because you can match your templates to the way your customers buy your products or services and then establish an order of operation. So if they brought three products from you and you have a guide or a template for each of those product experiences uh, to implement those in different ways, you can establish, okay, these implementation or these plans should all work in parallel or they should be in sequential order. And then you can define the logic into what dependencies should exist between those implementation experiences. Uh, number eight is forecasted end date. Forecasted end date gives the customer the expectation of when you're going to deliver that good product or service to them. Now, this might seem like a little thing, but it's a huge thing. I mean, think about Amazon, right? When you order a package through Amazon, you aren't blowing up Jeff Bezos on the phone when your package is late. And that's because he tells you it's late, right? There's automation that tells you that the package got rerouted to another state before it arrives on your doorstep. And that reduces your anxiety level, it increases your trust level, and you trust in the experience, you, you trust in the company. And that's why you do business with Amazon over and over and over again. So when we kind of extrapolate and take a step back from that experience, the act of being late isn't what frustrates customers. The act of being late and not knowing they're late, that's what frustrates customers. And so having logic in your software and Guide CX that automatically notifies those that you are serving that we're late and this is why we're late is critically important. It keeps your customers in the know. Number nine is team scheduling. Uh, there's lots of meetings that happen during the implementation experience. Some of those meetings have dependencies tied to them. And if certain action items or tasks aren't done before meetings happen, the meeting turns out to be a meeting to schedule another meeting. And so being able to establish dependencies before a meeting is actually scheduled will help your team be exponentially more efficient. You'll also be able to optimize the way in which people are invited to meetings, identify who's available, who's not. Uh, you can enable your customers to schedule meetings with you through integrations with your calendar scheduling tools. When you optimize the scheduling experience, that, that reduces the friction of getting on the phone, collaborating together, uh, which happens a lot in implementation experiences. And last but certainly not least is group task assignment tracking. This enables your customers to hold their teams accountable to doing activities that are important to the implementation experience. That, that might be completing a training, that might be doing something in your product or service, and then helping your stakeholders on the customer side understand what percentage of their team has or has not done that action item. And that can happen on your side too. If there's something that certain people in your company have to do in order to accomplish or complete a deliverable, this group task assignment tracking helps the task owner act as a project manager for that task itself, and then have the ability to report back up to the project manager and tell them, you know, how far along this process we've gotten in this group task assignment. So these 10 items differentiate Guide CX from generic project management tools and should help you understand why Guide CX is a product that will make your life easier. It was purpose built by implementation managers for implementation managers to help invite, engage, and guide your customers through a thoughtful experience. Thank you so much for your time.